this is the rating they have given for all these players. But as you can see, we can start off with David De Gea. David De Gea has been given 5.7. Do you actually agree with that? How many people actually agree with that? I think it was a decent performance from uh, all the players. But David De Gea hasn't had much to do. I mean, he conceded almost two shots and he, they, they scored. Of course, uh, he saved a couple of shots right at him, but he hasn't done much in this game. 5.7 is about right for me. I agree. He he, he gets 5.7. The load, uh, the load was magnificent, I think. Uh, he created a lot of chance from that right wing position. He created uh, in the last minute for Cristiano, which could have nearly... Uh, been a goal for uh, for Cristiano, so that was a good chance by him. Uh, so the load gets eight out of ten for me. Um, Lindelof, okay, Lindelof struggled in this match. I'm not, I, I don't know how much you would give him, but Lindelof struggled in this game. He was at fault for that uh, second goal. I think he loses ball possession, and somehow they went on the other, uh, they went in the other end and they scored so Lindelof is a 6 out of 10 for me uh, Martinez 7.3 he's been given 7.3 but all in all he did some good things he did some bad things uh, he was booked for a foul uh, late in the game but overall I think he did much better than Lindelof I think Martinez was more of the solid, solid player than uh, then <laughs> Lindelof. So Martinez, 7 out of 10. Sounds about right for me. Uh, Malasia. Okay, so Malasia gets 6.5. He was at fault for that first goal, I believe. He was trying to turn with the ball, and they take the ball away from him, and they go the other end and score. So Malasia was at fault for that first goal. No wonder he was taken off. He was taken off at halftime by Eric Ten Hag and was replaced by Luke Shaw. So 6.5 is actually being decent. I would give him five. I mean, he, he was below average, in my opinion. Okay, moving on to Casemiro. Casemiro gets 8.1. Was solid in the first half, except for that one chance. I mean, that wasn't his fault when we considered that first goal. It was Malasia's fault, so Casemiro did okay. Uh, Ericsson. So Casemiro, let's finish off with uh, Casemiro. 8.1, I think he deserves it. Uh, he was solid. They barely had a chance all game long. I mean, they, they, they almost created like two chances and they scored two. He was solid all around. I think Casemiro should start against Everton. It was a good performance. He was linking up play as well from a deeper position. Uh, we were able to get out easily from the from defense to attack. So Casemiro did okay, uh, along with Eriksen. Eriksen 7.5. He had a couple of shots from outside the box. Uh, his set piece delivery wasn't as we expected. He had lots of chances uh, from set piece, like from a corner kicks and free kicks. Uh, the delivery wasn't on point today, but all in all, I think. Had a, a good, uh, decent game. So he would get 7.5. I think I would agree with that 7.5 rating. Uh, Sancho. Sancho. I mean, Sancho's getting 7.2. I completely disagree. I think Sancho doesn't deserve to get more than 6. He was average. I mean, he didn't make a lot of mistakes. But he wasn't doing what we want him to do. Which is taking on players. Creating chances. Uh... Making an attempt on goal, taking a shot, and looking for the striker. I mean, he wasn't doing none of that. Even defensively, he's not solid. So, I think Sancho deserves 6 out of 10. For me, that is my opinion. But I don't know what you guys think. Leave your comments and let me know what you guys think. If you disagree with any of these uh, ratings, please let me know uh, down, below in the, uh, down below in the comment section. Okay, moving on to... Fernandez. Okay, so Fernandez, he gets 7.7. 7. 
he was our average average performance. He had a decent chance. He was one on one at, at some point. Then he misses. I mean, he hits the, the crossbar. Uh, no wonder he was taken off at 61 minutes and was replaced by Anthony Martial. So I think it wasn't the best of games from Bruno Fernandes, in my opinion. He gets six out of 10, not seven. Uh, Anthony, 7.4. He barely makes that seven, really. Like he could, you could give him seven because of his all-in-all -all game. He was trying to set up. At some point, he was trying to in the first half. He was trying to set up Bruno one on one. I mean, he was one on one with the goalkeeper. He was trying to set up Bruno, but just the ball was just behind Bruno, and we weren't able to finish that chance. But other than that, he's had a couple of chances uh, from outside the box. He took a lot of shots from my liking from outside the box I don't want him to continue doing that because we want the team to create chances for the striker as a team just like Man City we don't want to be just taking shots from, uh, from anywhere that is just not a good thing to do but all in all I want to give him 7 I think 7 might be about right up top Cristiano he gets 8.4 Again, he's not 8.4. I think I would give him 7. His all-round game was okay. Uh, he he did uh, get the assist for the winning goal, whether you like it or not. I mean, is it by accident? Is it by chance? Regardless of what you say, uh, he did get the, ass, uh, the assist for that winning goal from Rashford. So, mm. And he missed a lot of chances. He was in great positions. He had a couple of chances. One time, uh, the load set Cristiano up, clean through on goal, and he hits the post. I don't know how he missed from there, but he did. He's not in good form at the moment. He's struggling for confidence. You can clearly see it. That's going to change. That's definitely going to change. I believe that he will deliver for Manchester United if we continue to play him. Like, you've seen the team now. The team offensively looked good when he's actually playing as a starter and you play Martial behind him and Rashford on the side I think that would definitely improve our team that would be my starting 11 against Everton by the way but we'll talk about that in the uh, in, the, in another video but in this match I think Cristiano deserves 7 out of 10 so I think we've gone through everybody uh okay so, no, we haven't. We have to talk about Anthony Martial. So, for me, Martial gets 7 out of 10 as well. He completely changed the game. He came on immediately. His first shot he scores it was a very good performance by Martial. Long may continue. We hope to see him start against uh, Everton. Uh, Fred, Fred came on in the 74th minute. 6.2 for me. Didn't do much. He did have a couple of uh, chances to shoot or set up a, a, a Cristiano. He didn't. And I think uh, Fred was average. I don't think he was below average. Same goes for Luke Shaw. I would give him 6 out of 10 as well. Both players just came on and just did what they were, were supposed to do. And that's about it. But uh, what do you guys think? Uh, my man at the match, of course, is Marcus Rashford. He gets 9 out of 10 for me. He completely changed the game along alongside uh, Martial as well. He came on in the second half from Rash, uh, from Sancho's position. He did a lot more than what Sancho did. And the entire half, he just came on immediately. He made a difference. He cuts inside and he had a great goal uh, to, game, to, to, to tie the game 1-1. And also, uh, he had an opportunity to get a hat-trick uh, and then try to find Cristiano. His teammates, I mean, it's really, really good to see. We haven't seen this last season. It's good to see that Rashford actually trying to find uh, Cristiano when he when he was actually on on a hat-trick. But the pass was just too far for Cristiano to reach. Uh, he also scored a second goal. Uh, assist came from Cristiano, which I don't think he meant it. But uh, uh, Rashford had to tap in, basically, to make the game. 3-2 uh, 
So all in all, guys, it was a great performance. What do you guys think? Any thoughts about the game? What would you change in the next game? And do you agree with the lineup? Would you start Cristiano against Everton as well? Leave your comments down below. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in again. I'll speak to you soon, guys. Thanks a lot. And I'm out. Peace.